name is Harold York. I'm a research scientist in Pasadena, California, and I will be answering the question, if you charge a comb, how do you determine whether it is positively or negatively charged? Okay, I'm charging up my combs. Now, if I bring the charged comb close to this construction, we'll notice something. The tinfoil wants to go to the comb. If you have a comb, and let's assume it's charged, and I'm just going to assume that it's negatively charged for the moment. We haven't proved this yet. The tinfoil strip is attracted to the comb because opposite charges attract. And so what happens is in the tinfoil strip, because it's metal, the tinfoil strip becomes charged also at the end and then they attract each other. So there's a force on this tinfoil strip towards the comb. When we have now a battery, which is positive on one end and negative on the other, and again our charged comb, again the same thing happens. That the one, that each of the strips become uh, charged in the opposite manner and they are attracted to the comb, but one is attracted stronger to the comb. And that is the one that is already positively charged, the positively charged side. So to see whether or not our comb is negatively charged, we would have to see is the positive side of the foil attracted more than the negative side. Thank you for watching.